What's up guys, it's Seth. Welcome back to another video. I make a variety of videos about Clash of Clans and Brawl Stars, so if you want to see more of that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Today, I'm going to be ranking all five sceneries in Clash of Clans. Now technically, there are four special sceneries and then one default scenery, but I'm going to be ranking all five of these sceneries from what I think is the worst to the best sceneries. So before we get into it, I've made a video about every scenery pointing out all the Easter eggs in all the scenery. So you can check that playlist out. I'll have that linked at the end of the video so you can check that out. Let's start with the worst scenery, which is obviously the classic scenery. So the classic scenery is kind of cool because in the summer, the trees are all green. And then in the fall, they change to this brownish orangish color. But then in the winter, some of them get covered in snow, which looks pretty cool. But the scenery doesn't have a lot of elements to it. It's just all trees and then the water down here. So this is obviously going to be in last place, but now I'm going to show you what my least favorite special scenery is. And it's actually the newest scenery, Hog Mountain. So I like the overall design of this scenery, but it's not very detailed and it has a lot of empty space, which they probably could have filled up with some interesting stuff. But in the top left, there's really not much up here. There's some cool kind of rock towers with grass and trees on top of them. And the scenery does look cool, but it's just that there's not much to look at. It has some kind of mountain down here, and then it has some docks down by the water, which boats can come up to. It has this building over here. I'm not sure what you would call it. And it has the dojo up here with the big hog statues, which is kind of the centerpiece of the whole scenery. But this is going to be my least favorite scenery. So in third place, I'm going to put the second newest scenery, the epic winter scenery. Now this scenery, just like all of them, is an amazing scenery. This is the only scenery that actually has part of it coming into the village. It has the snow kind of creeping into the village which is pretty cool but this one has a lot of detail unlike the hog mountain scenery not quite as much detail as some other sceneries like in the top left it's pretty basic just a big ice cliff with a big cave i do like the colors of this scenery i like the white and the purple in the kind of elixir river i'm not sure what this is but it does contrast well with the green i like this castle up here and there are some pretty cool Easter eggs in this scenery. If you want to go see those, check out my video where I pointed out every single Easter egg in this scenery. But this is in third place, a fantastic scenery, but not my favorite scenery. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos ranking sceneries or pointing out Easter eggs or any of my other videos that you can go check out by visiting my channel. But in second place, I'm going to put the Clashy Construct scenery. This was actually the first scenery that Clash of Clans released and they did a really good job on this scenery. I think this scenery had the most Easter eggs out of all the sceneries that Clash of Clans has released and I think it's really cool how they had the Clockwork Queen and some other clockwork easter eggs in this scenery. The main part of this scenery is probably these giant gears up at the top and this big wheel that's being turned by the waterfall. But overall, I love the theme of this scenery and it really blends in with the main village, but not in a bad way. It has some contrasting colors, but overall, this is just an incredible scenery, especially for the first one that Clash of Clans released. So now let me show you what my favorite scenery is. So if you're paying attention, you would probably have guessed that the pirate scenery is the only scenery left and this is my favorite scenery. It has a lot of really cool elements to it. It has this castle in the bottom right, which looks amazing. The top right is probably my favorite part of it with the giant skull. It also has a waterfall with a little bit of a different shape and color. It also has some mystery, like where does this giant cave go? And it also has some smaller caves over on the right and some more over on the left. In every corner of the scenery, it looks amazing. It has this beach theme over here with the houses. There's a lot of Easter eggs in this scenery too, and they have a really cool animation in the water. If you watch, once in a while, you'll see some sharks swimming up out of the water. There's one right there, and they also have the water moving, which is the first scenery where they had that animation. And this scenery also fits really well with the hero skins that got released for the King, Queen, and Grand Warden. They all got pirate skins, which fits perfectly with this theme. So I'm curious what your favorite scenery is down below. Even if you don't have any of these sceneries, just by looking 
looking at these, which one is your favorite? Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and go check out the videos where I pointed out all the Easter eggs in these sceneries. But thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.